And there was a girl in that group. She doesn't speak Spanish either. She had a, I guess, a translator when she was preaching. And there was a night the guy couldn't come. So guess what? She was like, you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to preach in English. Because that's what she speaks, only English. She preached in English. At the end of the sermon, many people were baptized. Not only that, they were asking her, why did you have the translator when your Spanish is better than his Spanish? That, I think, was as she was speaking with tongues. Even though she didn't know that. But I think she was speaking with tongues. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon again. This is the Open VR TV. Um, today we're going to talk about um, speaking in tongues and the gift of tongues. So, I think there are, you know, there is a difference between speaking in tongues and having the gift of tongues. So, let's actually see what um, how we can dissect this, and I hope today's video is gonna. I hope today's video is gonna be um, pretty short. Don't forget again, you know, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button, and that like button, and that notification bell, and please comment below. Let me know what you think, and if you have questions, don't forget to put it down in the in the comment section below. So let's go to the book of Acts. You know, we, it, it begins with the book of Acts in chapter 2. You know, whenever we read in the Acts chapter 2 from verse 3 to verse 11, I'm not going to hear every read everything, but it says, And they appeared upon unto them cloven tongues like uh, of fires, and as of fire, and it sat upon them and upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Holy Spirit gave them utterance. And they were dwelling in a Jerusalem Jews devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak, speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying, one to another, behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? And of course, who were there? They were Parthians and Medes, Elamites, and the dwellers of Mesopotamia, and in Judea, and Cappadocia, and Pontus, and in Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and in Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene and the strangers of Rome, Jews and the Prolicites, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? Others, mocking, said, This is not full of new wine. Um, but of course, you know, Peter had to respond, you know, about saying, hey, um, this is not drunkenness, this is the Holy Spirit at work, right? Because it says, but Peter standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, even of Judea and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be, be this known unto you and hearken unto my words, for these are not drunken as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour. And I think the third hour is um, about what? Um, oh, it doesn't say right here. Maybe like 9 in the morning, maybe. I'm going to have to check that later on. I can never remember the, those, those, those time, actually. Ninth hour, sixth hour. But I'll, 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 I'll work it out later on. Um. Yeah, of the day, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel, Joel chapter 2. So, um, what are we seeing in here is that the Holy Spirit came down as tongue of fire and rested upon them and decided to speak with tongues. 
So understand that those Galileans they didn't have the gift of tongues. They had the they were speaking with tongues, not speaking in tongues, speaking with tongues. Meaning, from what I understand, they were not speaking a different language. Based on what I understand, they were not speaking a different language. More likely, they were preaching in their own languages, but yet the other people understood. Or it could have been that the Holy Spirit decided to give them the gift of tongue as well so they could speak in other languages for other people to know that this is not just a mere coincidence, this is God at work. Why do I say that? Um, so, quick story. I had a f- why I think it is more like they were speaking in their own language, but yet the Holy Spirit was basically translating to everyone around. Is because I have a friend of mine. He is a pastor. When we were in college, he and some friends of him of his went to I think Costa Rica. Now, mind you. Some of them spoke Spanish, but some of them didn't speak Spanish. My friend doesn't speak Spanish. And there was a girl in that group. She doesn't speak Spanish either. She had a, I guess, a translator when she was preaching. And there was a night the guy couldn't come. So guess what? She was like, you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to preach in English. Because that's what she speaks, only English. She preached in English. At the end of the sermon, many people were baptized. Not only that, they were asking her, why did you have the translator when your Spanish is better than his Spanish? Imagine this. She spoke, she preached in English. But yet they were telling her, why did you have a translator when your Spanish is better than his? That, I think, was as she was speaking with tongues. Even though she didn't know that. But I think she was speaking with tongues. Because I think when you have the gift of tongues, I think that's a whole different story. Um, let me see if I can find... If if the gift of tongues is different than speaking with tongues, then I do believe that uh, having the gift of tongues is different, meaning it is something that you can learn. For instance, let's go to the book of um, 1 Corinthians. In chapter 12, we read this. Now concerning spiritual gift, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore, I give to you the uh, to I give you to understand that no man speaketh speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus accursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Now these there are diversities of gift, you know. What is a gift? It's a gratuity that is a deliver. Uh, oops, come on. Let's do it again. It's a. It's called charisma, meaning gratuity that is deliverance from the inter passion, endowment. You know, so some people, it's it, it is not something that you just have. What God does when He gives that diversity of gift is that you you can see that some people they can try to, for instance, they can try to explain something a million time. Yet that person who's trying to learn cannot understand what they are what cannot understand it, and then you just come and you use a different method, and boom, that person gets it. That means you have the gift of teaching. Let's see what the Bible says right here. Um, now, verse number four. Now, there are diversities of gift, but the same Spirit. 
and there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord, and there are diff and there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God who worketh all in all. But the manifestation of manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit withal. For to one is given by the, by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge, by the same Spirit, to another faith, to, uh, to another the gift of healing, to another the work of the work of working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another the gift. To another, the diverse kinds of tongues, right? And to another, interpretation of tongues. So, diverse kind of tongues basically means um, born or country. Sometimes it can also mean, for instance, myself, I know I have the gift of diverse tongues because I it is easy for me to learn a new language just like that actually there are times I had to to preach in Spanish because I also speak Spanish and I haven't even practiced Spanish for at least two or three months but then they're like can you preach um, on this Sabbath for the Spanish part and, and in a week, I have to prepare a message and preach in Spanish the whole time. And for some reason, it's as though I'm speaking Spanish as a native Spanish-speaking person. But that wasn't me speaking with tongues. That was me utilizing the gift of tongues that God gave me. So, whenever you hear people speaking, if you cannot understand or be edified, most likely... If they are speaking a different language than that you know, that you don't know, it's more likely they are not speaking in with tongue, but gibberish. Many times, actually, you know what? Let me actually even look for that one for you guys because the Babu does speak about that part um, when it comes to the in chapter fourteen, first Corinthians fourteen. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that he may prophesy. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him, howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesieth speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifies himself, but he that prophesieth edifies the church. I would I would that ye all speak with tongue, but rather that he is prophesied, for greater is he that prophesieth than he that speaketh with tongues, except he interpret that the church may receive edifying. So whenever you hear somebody speaking in so called tongues, but he does not edify the church, he does not interpret what he is saying, it's either that person is speaking with tongues to edify himself or he's speaking gibberish just like that but of course because we don't know we can't say that person is speaking gibberish we can say I have no idea what that person is speaking because to me it doesn't mean anything to me because I don't, I'm not edified by what you were saying when you were saying the, I don't know what that means so, unless you explain to me or interpret what you were saying, I would not listen to that. Meaning, if you call that speaking with, with tongues, yet I don't understand, I'm like, well, um, yeah, thank you, but I'll go somewhere where actually I can understand what is being said. Does that make sense? So, let's pick up. There is a difference between speaking with tongue and the gift of tongues. Those who have the gift of tongues can actually speak multiple languages uh, because they actually learn the language. But when you're speaking with tongues, it is more as God is using you to speak to other people. If you don't know the language, that is your speaking with tongues. 
if you know the language, that's the gift of tongue. I hope that makes sense to everybody. And I hope that little story I give also helps you understand the difference between speaking in, speaking with tongue versus the gift of tongues. Anyway, guys, don't forget again, you know, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button and that like button and that notification bell. And please comment below, let me know what you think. And if you have questions, don't forget to put it down in the in the comment section below. Again, that was the Open Video TV. Until then, bye for now.